What's going on YouTube? Geosna right here. It looks like we're not done with iOS vulnerabilities just yet. Another one just dropped and this one is a Safari vulnerability which means you could use this to do something without a computer. For example, to use it in a jailbreak without a computer or in tools similar to that. Not alone, but in combination with other vulnerabilities. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Rayboot, a software that allows you to easily downgrade from iOS 18 to other iOS 18 versions in order to install a better version that worked better for your device. You can also easily repair your device if it's stuck in recovery mode, boot loop, black screen, blue screen, stuff like that. You can one click reset and you can even exit and enter recovery mode. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So recently in a previous video, we talked about this vulnerability on iOS Surface, which was uh, released as a proof of concept for iOS 18. This was patched in iOS 18.1 and is a kernel vulnerability, which could potentially be used for jailbreak purposes. Although the success rate for it would probably be very bad because it's a use after free type of vulnerability. And this one is already public here on GitHub you can check it out, check out the previous video if you want to learn more about it. It's not useless, it could potentially be useful if exploited, especially for customization applications. However, a brand new vulnerability just dropped, this one over here, and uh, it's CVE 2024-44308, and it says in here, it's a bug recently discovered in Apple Safari. I'm currently developing a proof of concept code along with a brief explanation of this vulnerability, posted this developer over here, and then they posted this article, it says in the wild, CVE 2024-44308, Apple Safari JavaScript Core Remote Code Execution Vulnerability. And this one was essentially patched in iOS 17.7.2 as well as iOS 18.1.1. As you probably know by now, you get two sets of updates. You can get iOS 17, so you can continue to use iOS 17 and get 17.7.2, but you also get the iOS 18 update and you can get to choose between them for a while. So this bug was also patched in 17.7.2, but also on iOS 18.1.1. So it's a remote code execution type of bug. You can indeed find it. If you're looking here, it says JavaScript core processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited on Intel based Mac systems. This was actually found in the wild. Somebody was actually using this to attack various machines. So it's powerful enough to do that. So it might be powerful enough to be useful for jailbreak purposes. Not alone. Of course, not alone. You still need the kernel vulnerability. You still need the PAC bypass stuff like that to create a full Safari based jailbreak. And those are pretty rare these days. So it's more of wishful thinking. But this vulnerability seems strong enough to be useful for such a thing if we can pair it up with what we need. There's also a WebKit over here, which says basically the same thing. And it was also exploited in the wild. So they might have found something quite important in here. The information about the vulnerability is available over here. An analysis, a diff of the files showing where and what changed. And um, yeah, you could actually see the WebKit comment, which changes the, uh, which patches the vulnerability. And there is also an unfinished proof of concept, which according to the developer says in here, the uh, code will be updated once it's finished. So yeah, this could possibly be very useful. Same with this one over here, two brand new vulnerabilities for iOS 18 as well as iOS 17. We don't know what will come from them and I'm not gonna promise you, you're gonna get a Safari based jailbreak out of this. They could possibly be used for such a thing and it all depends on who exploits them, what they do, or if we just leave them sitting. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.